All right, guys, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. We have a review for you, and spoiler alert, it's a good knife. By the way, this is the Knives Fast channel. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Stick around, check out the channel. Check me out on Instagram at Knives Fast and have some fun. All right, guys, this knife comes by way of our friend Justin over at White Mountain Knives. I'm an affiliate over there. And on almost everything he has in stock, which includes this particular knife, this particular variant of this knife, um, you can get 10% off with code Knives fast and free shipping so this is the we knife falcaria in black titanium with copper foil carbon fiber inlay black stonewash cpm 20 cv uh now right off the bat i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about something i got a lot of comments in the unboxing about this guy being overpriced guys we're talking copper carbon fiber inlay we're talking titanium uh the brass looking hardware um and this is available right now for $352.75 over at, um, uh, wow, White Mountain Knives. And you can get 10% off because this one is available with Code Knives Fast. Now, some of them are not available. Some of the versions, uh, there's one with the um, polished gray titanium that's uh, $382.75. Um, and there's, let's see, what is that one? This one is in Damasteel for $6.97. And then the uh, two other versions, the blue uh, one with the copper, I mean, the uh, aluminum carbon fiber. And then the um, uh, silver one with the beautiful uh, Timascus uh, is not available. But uh, this one is is available and again 352.75 i do not find it overpriced and we'll go through the quality of this thing and uh you know it's up to you like i said it's up to each person whether something's overpriced or not if you think it's overpriced then you should definitely my lights don't whoa hold on a second i messed it up look at that <laughs> All right, we are all the way bright. That's what I was trying to check. Good grief. All right, so, um, you know, it's up to you. It really is up to you whether you think it's overpriced or not. But for me, I, I don't know that I can say that for the workmanship and quality and materials. Now, uh, you do have this gorgeous. By the way, this is uh, designed um, by, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his first name, maybe Messi, Messi, Messi. Uh, Torbay, uh, I don't know. It might be Massage Torbay, I don't know. Uh, and it is a super awesome, cool design. Now, there are a couple things here. Now, this is a large knife. Yes, I'm three minutes in. I'm finally getting to the knife. Flat scales, and you have a copper carbon fiber inlay that stands proud. You do have really cool chamfering around the edges that makes it feel contoured. You have these sort of notches milled out here. That I think are really cool. Again, your inlay does... All right. Let's see, can't have the box back there. Hold on. Going to move some stuff so we don't have any focus issues. All right. Let's do this. All right. So as you can see, the inlay does stand proud, which is actually a really cool look, if you ask me. You kind of get um, the edges of the copper carbon fiber. Uh, and, you know, I don't know if that's why they did it. But they sh it should have been. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. And then you got this one screw uh, and your pivot holding that inlay in. And I think it looks really cool. And then kind of a, a flat spot here. Um, and again, same thing over here. Now, you have a really odd-shaped pocket clip, but it's kind of cool. Um, no issues with the clip. It is a uh, titanium clip, and you have about that much sticking out of your pocket it is not reversible there is a lanyard uh hole here but slot in the backspacer really kind of uh by the way i've said quite a few times this feels like a reich knife looking at it because it's got that kind of space age look to it uh you do have your three uh by the way m smoother than usual uh really nice cuts here for your lock bar it is a frame lock or sub frame lock um, I believe you do have, yep, you do have a steel lock bar insert. 
Uh, really cool. Um, we do have kind of a tab back here, but I have not been able to front flip this. There's no jimping on that. So your only method of deployment is the hole, uh, either for your thumb or for middle finger flick. Really cool. Um, just a cool knife. Oh, and by the way, you do have a flipper tab, I should say, as well, a back flipper. Um, and you have awesome jimping and a great shape that just grabs your finger uh, right there. Really cool techno-looking design. Um, and you can see the detent is magic. This is a great detent. No matter which of the, the methods you use, the hole or the flipper, it is a great. That's what got me right out of the box on this one. Now, you do have decent access to your lock bar and you do have scalloping, but it doesn't bother me. It moves easily and it hasn't been a problem for me. Uh, your flipper tab does come up when you're in the backup grip and become like a, a guard, um, but you got plenty of room to relax. Feels pretty good in the hand. Um, I will say where these kind of come down, it's thin right here. So that does kind of feel, if you were to bear down a lot right there, uh, kind of, you know, feels not so great in the hand and where it's flat right here as well. But then you can choke up past that um, and you got a great um, finger choil slash sharpening choil. Uh, the jimping is, is kind of crazy. You've got this uh, really aggressive jimping, but it really locks me in. Um, and I will tell you, when you're choked up like this, uh, the hot spots or the almost hot spots kind of go away. Um, now, we're going to finally get to my favorite thing on this knife, this blade. Guys, so they really thought this out. Torbay really, I mean, when I first saw it, I didn't think this. Um, by the way, you do have nice utility blade, but what you've got is a worn cliff with an upsweep. And you guys have heard me talk about this. It's all about the angles. And when I slice, by the way, this thing is wicked sharp. Uh, I will keep my fingers back, but I mean, it is, I was ribboning paper with it yesterday. It is absolutely magic on the cutting. This thing is one of my favorite uh, knives as far as cutting I've seen in a while. It is, it is fairly thin stock to begin with, and then you have a fairly high uh, flat grind, and it just cuts, and I cannot get to a piece of paper right now. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can tear one out of here. Let's see. Don't want to tear that. That's got important information on it, you goober. Is this book really almost full? Wow. Okay. So, uh, nope, it's not. All right, here we go. I'm like, my Charlie Brown notebook is almost full. All right. So this is actually thicker paper, but that's okay. Um, but you, look at this, guys. No effort. And you know I struggle sometimes with cutting paper. This might be literally one of the sharpest production knives. Look at the ribbons. Oh my gosh. Did you see? Look at the ribbons. Look at the ribbons. Uh, this thing is literally one of the best cutters I've seen in a long, long time. Um, I am blown away by this knife. Look at the ribbons. Uh, absolutely insane. This knife is a heck of a cutter. I am very impressed. Now, uh, when we are, uh, open, I mean, closed, we are dead center. Uh, when we are open, we're locked up there at, boy, it's hard to see with the black on black in front of the camera there. Uh, but we're like 50 on the lockup. Man, keep your hand away from that blade, Casey. Uh, no lock rock, no blade play, no issues whatsoever with this one. Uh, detent again is spot on. Uh, guys, I, I know you think I'm crazy, but this thing is that good. Now, that's why I think it's worth the money. Um, and again, to each their own. 8.86 inches overall, 5.22 close, plenty of room for everybody. <laughs> uh, 3.64 inch blade with a 0.13 blade thickness, 20 CV. Um, 58 to 60 on the HRC, um, on the 20 CV there. And again, 4.78 ounces overall. Um, really, really 
cool knife. Now here is your uh, your comparisons real quick. It's a little longer than the Rat 1, which is crazy, and a lot longer than the Rat 2. Whoops, we don't even have that. Let's just slide this all up. There you go. So what do you guys think of uh, the Falcaria from Wii? This thing is uh, really good, if you ask me. Uh, I really, really like it. We'll be sending this back uh, to White Mountain, and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, taking a look at the Wii Knife Company Falcaria. So again, uh, let me know what you think down below, uh, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. But again, we're not all going to agree on the price, that's for sure. And uh, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think, and thank you for watching the Knives Fast Channel.